Oh man, I um, I kind of like it. I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah. Hello, and welcome back to Meme Play and more Monster Hunter. I really don't know where to start in regards to what has changed because I've pretty much changed everything except aerial style. I'm going with the bow. Apparently everybody hates it. We're gonna find out how good I am at it though. There is still so much left to do. That looks like a giant enemy crab, let's do it. There are a whole bunch of other things that I needed to start doing such as taking upgrades and buffs. So I'm gonna start doing that and we're gonna see how long this takes before I get sick of it. Grab the essentials. Don't, don't think I'd need a whetstone anymore. Can't take any of those, but I'm gonna have them. Ooh, apparently I can paint them. All right, cool. That way I don't have to worry about anything else. How do I equip paint coatings? Oh, found them. Ooh. Oh, he is a giant enemy crab. De Daimyo Herm. Uh, yep, that's a word. All right, uh, ooh, okay, cool. I did practice a little bit, uh, I'm not gonna lie, so I can at least figure out what I'm doing. Yeah, the tumbles. I don't know exactly what I'm getting myself into. And, all right, he dug down. Is he gonna pile up? Oh, ooh, yep, gotta avoid that. He's going after them though. Is he gonna come after me? Yep, there he is. Nope, Never mind. I can jump, yeah. I also figured out how to do this. This is a little bit easier for me to do now. You hold down a button. <laughs> I didn't know that. And there we go. Cool. Whoa. Is that a Triceratops skull? That's what it is. Wow. Dinosaurs and everything. Figured out how to do this. Did this a bunch of times. It took me about 45 minutes to take out of the practice monster, the Great Macau. But hey, it works. I still need to figure out how to put on the paint coating though. Maybe I'll just throw something at him. Knocked him down again. This is just what I did. This is how I took out the Great Macau. It took me a while, but that's uh, that's what I did. And should I be ashamed? Maybe. I, it, it feels kind of uh, cheesy, but quite honestly, it works. If that's all that it takes to get through low rank, that's what I'm gonna keep doing. Yeah. And then I just sit here and I keep firing. I can aim. That's another thing I learned. Aim it. Oh, he's back underground. Can I use something on this? Like one of these things? Oh, I got hit. I don't know. So he's going after me, apparently. Move, Biff. Throw one of these. Does that work? That didn't work at all. What did, it did something to that guy, though. Like, stopped him in place. Is that what it does? No. It did nothing. Pushing the buttons, and I can't get... Oh! Oh, there we go. Yes, okay. Now I got the paint. Now I don't have to throw something at him. Yeah, that worked. Okay, now I know how this works. Okay. Close range coding, because I kind of like close range attacks. Probably a bad idea when I'm using a bow. He just keeps punching me. Ow! That Triceratops skull is bad ass. I feel like I can break it though. Like, am I able to break this? Because that would do something. Get away, get away, get away. Do this thing. It's so much better than what the switch axe was doing. Where'd he go? There he is. And come on. Come on up. There he is. I feel like he's. Is he trying to escape now? I might be good. I might be good. I don't know. I might be doing better. Oh, wasted. Let's take another dash juice. Oh, that increases it again. Oh, nice. I'm learning. That's tip number one when playing Monster Hunter. Learn. Don't, don't just do things. Says me, who's probably doing like the worst possible things I could be doing. Using bow, aerial style. I really feel like there should be something I can do when he goes underground like this, other than just run around. Hoping he doesn't try and attack me right there. He started spitting some water, but I got the dodge rolls. <laughs> yeah. On top again. He's dancing. He's dancing. Yep, there he goes again. All right. Okay, here we go. And yeah. I'm so good at this now. Wow. Either that or this is just like the worst boss in the entire game. And I'm just trying to take credit for it. What? Where'd he go? Oh, back on the ground. Okay. My foot is asleep. Why? Why is this happening? I really do kind of want to see if I can break this shell behind his back. Is he running away again? Oh, that's that's what it looks like. 
so concentrated on just jumping and attacking and jumping up oh, that number four <laughs> i'm getting this i will say the the jumping mini game took me a second to figure out and once i looked it up i didn't figure it out uh it made a little bit more sense to me but quite honestly i wish you know they would have made that like a tutorial thing as opposed to just being like hey you know good luck figure it out oh 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 looks like he's dragging it now so i might be good i might be good Oh, he ran off. Still trying to break the shell. Is this literally all that bow aerial style is? Is just <laughs> doing these three attacks. And boom. Oh, dodged right into it. How many more hits is it going to take? Should be close. Should be closing in on it. Just going to keep shooting at him from back here. Whew. <laughs> right in front of me. Oh, I tried to jump into him. Not a good idea. I need to heal. There we are. I really don't know if the aim... Ugh, right in the face. Oh my gosh. I was going to say, I really don't know if aiming would help anything. I'm just kind of using it. But it's... Ah, it works. Oh man. I, um, I kind of like it. I don't know what to say. Uh, yeah. Look at the design on this guy though. That is crazy. And it's just... It's taken shelter in a like Triceratops shell. Large monster bone. I haven't found one of those yet, I don't think. Look at this. It's just a giant Triceratops shell. Wee. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, I don't know what to say. I kind of like the, uh, the aerial bow. I played around with it a little bit beforehand, but only just to say, you know, I knew how to attack, as opposed to in previous episodes where I just kind of just went with it because it was working. Uh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I will save my game, thank you for reminding me. Oh, hello, Chief, what do you have to say? Hunter, your timing is once again impeccable. I have an urgent, if slightly unusual, request to make. I need you to gather abyssal, 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 mushrooms from the Jurassic frontier and deliver them to me. Abyssal mushrooms are large mushrooms with a rather unique scent, and can only be found deep within the forest. Now, I know the, what you must be thinking. But these mushrooms are an important part of the work of the Wycademy ecologists, and currently their supplies are just short of running out. Their noses were too far buried into their work to notice inventory running low, poor excuse as that is. Regardless, the Wycademy needs the mushrooms to continue their work. Don't let us down. Something tells me this is going to evolve into something a little bit harder than just collecting mushrooms. Just regular old deliver some abyssal mushrooms from the Jurassic Frontier type quest. Uh, totally safe quest where you gather some massive mushrooms in the dark and grow in the dark, damp places. Nothing to worry about, no siree. Just you, the quest, mushrooms, and safety. Hey, with those mushrooms, we can maybe come up with a da dish to attract tourists. Anyway, let's hash out the details later. Be care, I mean, have fun gathering. Uh, video games. I love them. Uh, we'll get into that next time, but I do appreciate you guys checking out the video. Hit the like button down that way if you enjoyed it. Smash the subscribe button over that way if you enjoy what I do. And you guys, as always, stay awesome.